Hello everyone and welcome to Bowlers Dentistry. In this video, we'll talk about some home remedies which you can use in order to relieve a tooth pain that your experiences at times when visiting a dentist is difficult and that pain is really severe. So you have to do some kind of treatment in order to get a little bit relief until and unless you visit a dentist. So in this video, we'll talk about the most commonly used home re remedies for tooth ache. So let's get started. Now, tooth pain is one of the most common pain that everyone experiences during their lifetime and that tooth pain can range from either being mild up till severe which is not tolerable by the patient. Now, everyone experiences tooth pain at least once in their lifetime. Now, the, as I've discussed, the pain can range from mild to moderate. Now. The pain of the tooth can either be related to the gums or it can originate from the tooth or the pain can be related to gums and the tooth as well. For example, in certain conditions such as periodontitis, gingivitis, certain um, conditions for example caries which has involved the tooth are along with the gums as well. So pain can be either due to gums, tooth or both of them. Now, sometimes when visiting a dentist is not possible, then we should know some home remedies that we can perform in order to relieve tooth pain not completely but to some extent which can be very beneficial for the patients. Now these home remedies does alleviate pain of the patient at times it can completely alleviate the pain of the patient or at another time it can decrease the pain intensity for the patient. However, one thing should be kept in mind before we move on towards the home remedies is that these remedies are not substitute for dental treatment. When you are experiencing pain and discomfort, a visit to the dentist is a must. So you should keep this thing in mind. Now, if you talk about the severity of pain, most of the patients they avoid visiting a dentist until and unless the pain is very severe. But initially, the pain starts in its mild condition, which some sometimes and then it goes away and if you do not um, go visit a dentist and the, that pain will continue to grow and then it will lead to severe pain. So pain intensity can range from either being mild up till severe. Now one of the most commonly used and the first line of you can say home remedies is performing salt water rinses. Now this is the first line of home remedy that the patient usually performs and the main thing behind salt water is that it is a natural disinfectant because the tooth pain is normally bacterial in origin. So this salt water basically helps to decrease that bacterial load around the teeth and generally around the oral cavity so that it alleviates the pain of the patient. Now there are sometimes debris or food particles which are stuck between the gums and that can lead to pain for the patient. So this salt water rinses dislodges or remove the debris which is present around the tooth thereby giving some relief to the patient. Now this salt water rinses reduces inflammation. For example patient is suffering from gingivitis so these salt water rinses decreases the inflammation and thereby decreasing the pain of the patient. Now, how do we perform salt water rinses? Basically, you take half teaspoon of salt and then you put it in a warm glass of water and then you rinse it around your mouth just like you use a mouthwash. You can do this, perform this around like two to three times a day. It will help not, if not completely remove the pain, but it will alleviate the pain of the patient. So, salt water rinses is like the first line of treatment which patients perform at their home in order to alleviate the pain from the tooth ache. The second commonly used home remedy is hydrogen peroxide rinses. Now, this is another form of rinses that the patient can perform in order to decrease the pain from the tooth ache. It is a very effective antimicrobial agent because hydrogen peroxide is very effective in killing most of the bacteria, virus. Hydrogen peroxide reduces pain and inflammation which is associated with tooth pain. So this decreases the pain of the patient now. Hydrogen peroxide rinses just like salt water rinses also reduces um, plaque and food debris which is present and this promotes healing of the gums because as I've discussed before gingivitis is one of the conditions which presents with tooth pain and that can decrease 
with the use of hydrogen peroxide rinses. Now, how do we perform hydrogen peroxide rinses? Basically, we take hydrogen peroxide in a small quantity, then we dilute it with water, and then we perform rinses. One important thing we should keep in mind is that hydrogen peroxide should be diluted because it is very concentrated in its original form. So you have to dilute it before using. And another common thing which you should keep in mind before using hydrogen peroxide rinses is that you should not swallow it because it is toxic in nature. If you swallow it, it can lead to burning injuries through your esophagus and further organs as well. So you should keep these things in mind before performing hydrogen peroxide rinses. Now, moving on towards another commonly used home remedy is cold compressors. As you can see in this picture, a patient normally can use ice or cold packs around the area where it's hurting. And when they do that, that cold sensation basically reduces the inflammation. So that helps in alleviating the pain of the patient now, especially in cases where tooth has been dislodged, broken down in traumatic tooth injuries. So these cold compressors are very effective in those cases now. How do these cold compressors work? Basically, when it's placed around the area which is hurting, the blood vessel constrict there. And when the blood vessels constrict there, blood flow decreases over there. And when the blood flow decreases, it basically reduces the pain and inflammation sensation of the patient. And it also reduces swelling which is associated around that region. Now, how do we perform cold compressors? Basically, you take a towel and then you wrap it with the ice and then you apply it at the area where it's hurting for around 20 minutes and then you repeat this thing over a few hours. So if you perform that, it will decrease the pain intensity of the patients. Now, another home remedy, which is also less commonly used, but it is effective to those who know it is garlic. Now, garlic has been used for centuries because of its medicinal properties, because it is very effective in killing bacteria, because it is an antibacterial. It reduces inflammation, swelling, because that is due to bacteria. So it is a really good pain reliever for the patient. Now, how do we use garlic? Basically, we crush the garlic and we make a paste and then we apply over the area or around the tooth where it is hurting. So when you apply this over that area, so it will lead to decrease in inflammation and pain and it will help patient a lot in decreasing pain intensity. Now moving on towards another home remedy that can be used is called as clove, which is normally used as food ingredient. Now, clove has been known to be anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antioxidant and anesthetic properties as well. This helps to reduce in pain and also fights different kinds of infection throughout the body. So this is very useful for patients who are not suffering from toothache but other body conditions as well because doctors do tell the patient to introduce cloves in the diet because it helps to decrease inflammation, pain and infection throughout the body. So this is useful not only for the entire body but also for the teeth as well. Now, eugenol is one product or you can say one substance which is present in cloves which acts as natural antiseptic agent which helps to kill the bacteria or viruses which are present around the tooth now. Now, what is the procedure to use cloves? Basically, you take two cloves, you add olive oil to it, you make a paste like solution and then you apply over any tooth where it is hurting. So this is how or you, you can also perform it like using um, water, salt water and you can also rinse it after that. So first you will apply it over the tooth which is hurting you and then you can use salt water to rinse it out. This will help to decrease the pain intensity that you're experiencing. Now another commonly used home remedy or you can say pharmacological therapy is over-the-counter pain relievers because nowadays painkillers which can be easily bought from the pharmacies are very easily available for the patient. So other home remedies are less preferred as compared to over-the-counter painkillers. Now for children they can use acetaminophen which is a very effective in decreasing pain of the patient. For adults we can go for other stronger painkillers such as ibuprofen and naproxen. Aspirin is one another drug which can be used and it one thing you should keep in mind before using aspirin is that sometimes patient apply aspirin or they put it aspirin on their tooth which is hurting. You should not do that because if you place aspirin directly over the tooth which is hurting, it can lead to mouth ulcer which can, it is a further painful condition which can develop. So aspirin should be swallowed. It should not be put directly over the tooth which is hurting the patient. Now, lastly, talking about one more 
होम रेमेडी दैट एट टाइम्स पेशेंट डू परफॉर्म विच ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द मोस्ट लीस्ट कॉमनली प्रिफर्ड इज ओवर द काउंटर एनेस्थेटिक देर आर सम एनेस्थेटिक एजेंट इन विच विच आर सप्लाइड इन जेल फॉर्म विच कैन पेशेंट यूज वेन द टोथ इज हर्टिंग दीज जेल्स बेसिकली कंटेन बेंजोकेन द बेंजोकेन इज एन एनेस्थेटिक एजेंट विच एट टाइम्स डू हेल्प पेशेंट इन डिक्रीजिंग दर पेन but you should keep one thing in mind that these anesthetic are for short term use they should not be used as a prolonged period now like we started this video it should be kept in mind that these home remedies are for short term whenever you experience pain or discomfort you should visit a dentist but there are certain criteria which mandate you to visit a dentist for example there is some pain which is actually leading to discomfort which is hindering your ability to eat eat speech and at times you are sleeping and when you wake up in the morning you are experiencing some discomfort so that is one condition where you should definitely visit the dentist other than that if the pain is even for some short duration you should still consult a dentist because pain which is caught initially can be treated in a less invasive manner as compared to pain which is detected at a later stage which can be destructive for the tooth and the prognosis of the tooth decreases now at times there are pain associated with the jaw of the patient and patient can experience this clicking sound or popping sound when they eating when they speaking and especially when they open their mouth wide so this is one more important condition which you should keep in mind and this mandates a dental visit so these are the conditions which you should keep in mind that these condition mandate a visit to the dentist so in this video we talked about some quick home remedies that the patients can perform when the visit to a dentist is either delayed or they get an appointment at a later date or when they are in certain condition or certain place where visit to a dentist is not possible so there are some home remedies that you can perform for example as we discussed salt water rinses hydrogen peroxide garlic cloves some drugs so these are certain things and remedies you should keep in mind which will always come handy for present and future as well so i hope this video was useful for you and if you like this video please like share subscribe and press the bell icon thank you for watching this video see you next time